Thank you. Please take your seats. Newspaper. They carried a story on the front page this morning. Did it? Ms. Decker, you are the Twyla Decker. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. Okay. Who is a reporter with the state newspaper. Is that correct? Yes. It's my understanding that Ms. Decker wishes to assert the privilege against compelled testimony that exists under statute and under the First and Fourteenth Amendments to the Constitution. My point is that to overcome the privilege that is recognized by statute and under court decisions, there has to be a showing that reasonable alternatives to compelling the information from the reporter have been exhausted. Counselor, I don't know of any other steps that I could take. There's been an investigation. The evidence, and that evidence is more abundant now than it was on January 27th, that unless action is taken before trial, Susan Smith will not receive a fair trial from this court. This matter, what I don't want this to become is a means by Mr. Bruck of, in essence, circumventing the very order that you've laid down by bringing it into the courtroom while the media is present and going through his list. I would note on, on the various motions he makes, he goes well beyond what's needed to set forth the motion, just in essence to, to put more propaganda out. And I, I would call your first witness. I think we've, I've disinvited.